My name is Ruth Ewan. I'm an artist based in Glasgow and I'm working on a project called These Are Our Treasures at the Lane Art Gallery. The project was commissioned in response to the Lindisfarne Gospels and its journey to the Northeast. I spent a lot of time reading about the Gospels, thinking about the Gospels and, you know, thinking about the Gospels actually as an art object and the, the process that went into producing it, the reality of the artist in the 8th century producing it, what that meant. I was also at the same time thinking a lot about the survival of the objects and what we choose, you know, as a culture, what we choose to, to treasure, what we choose to keep hold of. The process of making that has been very involved. We basically started off with an open call earlier in the year and we asked members of the public to think about what they treasure and to share their story. We said, you know, we didn't want to predefine what a treasure might be. We didn't know what was going to come in. We didn't know what kind of objects we were going to get. We didn't know the range of objects we were going to get. But we knew that it was going to be a very eclectic, very wide mix of objects. And so from the outset, I was thinking about, well, how can we design this in a way that will actually bring everything together? And so I was really looking at some of the earlier research that I'd done, looking at the Gospels pigments. I was really drawn to this super bright green. And so everything's displayed on a very, very mid to dark, but very intense, bright, strong um, green pigment. And that's something that's carried through the expression design. So we received around 200 submissions. So some came in through the submission boxes, some came online and through social media. A lot came through doing um, targeted workshops with pre-existing groups within libraries and um, through their sort of community outreach programmes. We worked with the LINK group um, based at, at the gallery as well. The staff within the museum have made suggestions, so it really is, has been open to absolutely everyone. So there's 84 submissions on display. Some people have submitted whole collections of objects. So for example, there's a whole collection of fossils, a whole collection of shells. Um, a whole collection of engagement rings. There's a, a wooden ironing board, I think from the 1940s, and that was used as a, well, as an ironing board, but also as an improvised bomb shelter during the Second World War. One of my favourite objects is a bar of soap that's from 1904. It was only used once for a baby's first bath. As soon as I heard that story, I just thought that's amazing to keep that bar of soap and that it's been passed on and I love the fact that it's just this sort of everyday item. Really it is the most beautiful bar of soap I think I've ever seen. It's in sort of marble swirly colours, it's um, French, Danish in origin, it's yeah really lovely. So a lot of the objects have really strong, very personal kind of hidden stories. The labels for the stories aren't written by us, they're written by the lenders. It's really come from all those people and all those participants voices. There's certainly common themes that emerge from the object. There's a lot of objects relating to childhood. We could have displayed a lot of teddy bears. We had to be quite brutal. The objects are so unbelievably diverse in form and material. The thing that connects them is that there's not one thing in there that has a, a very high kind of monetary value. They're all treasures because they're you know, they're cherished for very, very personal reasons and they reveal so much about people's personal lives, about their family lives, about friendships, about love, um, about having children. Um, so there's all that, that sort of everyday stuff that often is unspoken in that sort of museum context. I think, hopefully, I think that's what the display reveals. It's always wonderful to see the way people engage with it and what people find interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing the response of the lenders, actually. The conservation team here especially, like, have, they've just treated the objects with such unbelievable care. They've been treated as if they were precious artworks and given this sort of respect. For example, there's a wedding dress as part of the display and the amount of care they went into, you know, packing it out, getting it looking perfect. And, you know, it was, that was really lovely to see and I, I really look forward to the, to the lender seeing that.